and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kat and this is Mid-Century Cat. You can find me on Instagram, eBay, and YouTube all under Mid-Century Cat and my website is midcenturycat.com. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be talking about buttons again. I have sorted and sorted and sorted buttons and we're going to talk about a few of the things that I found. So stay tuned. So I'm going to show you a few of the buttons I sorted and specifically which ones I'm going to sell. I'm not going to sell a lot. As I said before, I'm going to keep a lot of these for crafting. Uh, as you can see, I have this whole bag and this small coffee can full of whites and creams. I have this coffee can about half full of like black, brown, and gray mostly. And then any color I couldn't figure out what to do with. Um, I have this one full of reds, this little bag, little bag full of blues, yellows and oranges, purples, greens, and pinks. So I'm probably going to be keeping all the colored ones for crafting. I'm going to be keeping quite a few of the white ones. I'm not going to keep all of them because I have, like I said, a coffee can full and this bag that is, um, pretty large, a couple pounds. So... I'll be sorting through these a little. These are some of the ones I've specifically picked out that I probably will sell. So we'll start um, over here. I mentioned these in the last video I showed these. These are vintage under uh, underwear buttons. And so these, a lot of these could be back to Victorian, Victorian times. These are Victorian buttons. You can see that they don't have a lot of embellishment they're kind of like just made of bone most likely they're a little bit rounded and they don't have the indentions in them that the more modern buttons do like you can see even this is a two pronged button it still has that sort of look and that indention these the holes are quite a bit larger than uh, regular buttons you can see the difference in the size of the hole and so I found this lot of them in all of the buttons I sorted. And I would say this is probably a $15, maybe a $15 lot. So I'll probably list this one on eBay. Um, these buttons here, a lot of mother of pearl buttons. Those are pretty common. You can tell the mother of pearl by that iridescence that they have. They're made of shell. Um, and so you can see that kind of iridescence in them. And so you'll find them all shapes and sizes. These are very common. Uh, you can tell that they're not uh, perfectly flat a lot of times. They're uh, sort of uneven. Um, so iridescent buttons, if you have the mother of pearl buttons, um, like I think I'm going to be putting these in a, like a lot of, I don't know, four or five ounces for maybe like $15. $15. So you know, it's not a big deal to sort them when you're watching a movie or something. Just sort them and um, pick out the mother of pearl ones and put them in little baggies. So that's what I'm going to be doing with those. Um, then these are interesting. These are what are called steel cut buttons. And you can see there is a metal overlay. And in the back, behind that metal overlay, there's like polished steel that gives it a little bit of a shiny look. So these all kind of have that little shiny look. This one's um, pretty apparent because it's a different color of metal on the top. Um, these are fairly collectible, um, fairly, depending on if you have something like figural or really unusual, these are all fairly plain, um, not terribly exciting maybe maybe 10 bucks for that lot and then here we have a lot of military buttons these are all uniform buttons so these are all uh those are army buttons uh or no this one's an army button this one is a band military band button the liar on it um this one says navy on it and you can see it the age by the patina of the the shank, this is called a shank when it has a little loop thing on the back. A lot of military buttons have shanks. Um, 
or even like the little little bitty ones like that um, again military buttons these are all old military buttons so I'll put that lot out there I don't know again maybe 10 or 15 dollars uh, this button is one that I thought was really cool I uh, love this big rosette it's wooden on the bottom um, it is a shank button as well um, and then this is metal this part unfortunately I didn't see this when I was looking at it but it does have damage right there you can see it's had a piece broke off and you can kind of see inside of it so I won't be selling that one I'll save that one for crafting here's an example of a coat button this is a leather covered shank coat button um, probably again not really worth my time listing I'll save that one for crafting as well uh, then we come over to these so this is what's called a jet black button and you can tell just by the the deep black of the color how how dark it is how shiny it is and you can see these are pretty common to have like a faceted edge if you can see that how it's faceted on the edges um, this is a large one with a faceted edge um, again these are not super rare but jet black buttons are desirable so this is a really pretty one this has a really pretty design on it uh, no marking but it's got a little dirt in the in the lines there but just a really beautiful example of of a jet black button um, these are the buttons that I found that I was gonna look up I did not find any information on them at all uh, so the back of them does have a marking let me get this focused uh, the back does have a marking and it says 8h2 and I could not find any uh, kind of uh, information on this but just beautiful buttons I have three of these I think these are jet black buttons as well if you look at that color but then they have a metal overlay um, so slippery little devil too but just uh, really beautiful design on this button just really striking um, this is another example of a jet black and you can see that this has been uh, stained or painted a little on the top so it has the jet black on the bottom this is lace chic which is a fairly common uh, vintage button um, company I guess uh, but you can see that this is uh, just beautiful uh, shiny and uh, has been painted kind of peacock colors it's got a little bit of teal in there a little purple little blue just gorgeous and I have two of those um, this is another really pretty one that uh, if you look at the front you would almost say that it's not a jet black but this is a mixed materials it is a jet black jet black button with a metal overlay on the front so it's again just a beautiful one and this last jet black here um, again with a metal overlay on the front jet black on the back this is another Le Chic. you can see kind of see that name again common but those are fairly desirable I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this lot I think they're so pretty I may keep them for myself um, or I may list them we'll see now these fascinated me as soon as I saw them if you can see uh, they're very hard they're hard plastic and they have um, like tinsel inside and as I've done a little research on these I believe that they are lucite with tinsel inside so like the old lucite candles that are so desirable and so collectible I think these are lucite buttons with that same tinsel inside I'm gonna be listing these for probably around 25 to 30 dollars for this pair of buttons here here's just a couple of plain coat buttons just to show you these are plastic nothing extraordinary I'm not going to be listing them I just wanted to show you kind of um, some different ones so I found some good ones I have lots of keepers I still have to go through the black um, 
box completely and see if there are any more jet blacks. And then I'm going to be sorting out the mother of pearl ones from this and listing them as well. So you can see they're pretty easy to spot. You can spot them pretty quick because of their iridescence. So I'll just put like a, a plain button beside a mother of pearl um, to see if I can see if the camera will pick up the difference. I don't know if it will or not, but we're going to try it here. If you can see, it doesn't really show on the camera very well, but this one is, is iridescent. When you move it in the light, you can see that iridescence. Um, and the other one doesn't do this. This is just plastic. It's just, there's no iridescence there. So anyway, fun, fun, fun sorting buttons. So you can see that buttons can be a lot of fun. And for a couple of hours of work and searching through and enjoying myself, I've, pr I will probably be able to make about a hundred dollars. Plus I have buttons and buttons and buttons for my own crafting projects. So it's a win-win for everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little look at buttons. If I find anything more exciting, I'll be sure to let you know. Please uh, subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment. I always try to answer my comments. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend a little time with me. Have a great day.